Hello everyone. This is Miss Catherine Don Masters, aka Haraway's Woman. This video is to document and use as evidence. I was working to respond to some posts made to me and uh trying to comfort my pets at the same time when all of a sudden I got hit by these um this really bad pain and I come in I try to see what in the world because I could feel it. Can you see it? There's one and there's more. There's more. And I'm swelling. And this feels like it goes from here to here. And it feels like it's drawing me like this. And I can feel it clear into my throat, into my ear. Feels like my eardrum is trying to blow out. And I imagine if I looked at through an oscope that the eardrum will either be bulging out or being sucked inward. And that's due to an abnormal growth to the tail of the salivary gland. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reveal something right there for you. When people especially have craniotomies, we get special types of um, implants. And um, we usually get them in the ears. And uh, when I have, I meet anybody who has had any type of surgery on their head, you know, here above, that I can pretty much tell them what type of pain and symptoms that they're in. And uh, how they are being mistreated, the doctors denying them any type of validation it's always, everything's coming out just fine. We just can't figure this out. And it's, I tell you, every time that there are tests, doesn't matter if it's imaging to blood work. I cringe. I cringe at it, whether it's for me or anybody, because I know the amount of lying. These liars. Oh, God, I tell you, please allow me to assist you in your wrath because these who have suffered the people so. You know, it's one thing to be a layman and know that they are not being honest with you. It's another to... <clears throat> have the knowledge and especially when a person is very, very good in medicine and knows knows what these people are doing to you and your loved ones. I get so angry and very enraged anymore. I am so sick and tired of the freaking lying and it's over the stupidest crap and unfortunately over the stupidest stuff in medicine is enough to kill anybody. And man, are they making me pay. But I... I 
I really just can't help myself. I can't bite my tongue and watch them suffer, you all. I can't do it. And unfortunately, that's made me a very big target. And so, I am not permitted to proper medical care, and I've got, I got so much stuff. There's so much stuff that they do to me every single day. They're getting in to all, elect, anything electronics, bills, car vehicle, pharmacy, health insurance, telephone utilities, all of it, all of it. They are, they, here we have a set date for withdrawal from auto pay, and I'm finding out they're jumping all over the place, and what they're trying to do is catch the account when it's low so that they end up withdrawing, and they go, oh, well, that was a mistake. I'm so sorry. We'll pay, pay the $35. Or why don't you just pay for all the other ones, too? Because since you withdrew that, all these other ones, even though they might be 15 or $10, now have a $35 overdraft on them. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Justifiable homicide. Justifiable homicide is not used enough in America. And there's a reason why that it exists. And rightfully so, because I tell you, there are people that these days, I know a lot of you out there feel the same way that I do, that you're very fed up with it, just get rid of them. They're going to do this kind of stuff. Because I tell you, here's, here's the... Oh, God. Here's a platform that I stand on. Autistic, special needs kids, they know the difference between right and wrong. So therefore, adults, especially even well-educated adults, hold their, their degrees. Well, I'm a judge. Well, I'm an attorney. Well, I'm a doctor. And yet they do wrong. And they sit there with their arrogance and their snifleness as if that they are the most honest, noble people with the greatest integrity that you'll ever meet. All of a sudden their lives have been absolutely perfect. Perfect parents, perfect life, all childhood, everything. Yeah. Those are the kind. Just take them out. Just take them out. We don't have time to deal with these. Just take them out. So, my guess is, man, it's going all the way down here. My guess to this is, is what you see in here and here. This is the advancement of cancer, and um, I'm not permitted to get any kind of treatments. I've tried and tried to try to get <laughs> my doctor to cooperate and get the help of the clinic because I got a pharmacist who is stealing medicines and harassing me and making false claims to my doctor and I all this I'm trying to get the farm the clinic to get a hold of me talk with me so that I can break away from that pharmacy and get set up set me up with a with a particular pharmacy so that we can go through with the filing on it 
they come after me. You see, they don't want me living. And that's one of the drawbacks about talking about things online. But I said I wasn't going to go to the grave quietly. And I'm not. I know that I'm very close. And I want to show you guys this. This is something I haven't, I've spoken about, but I haven't really quite shown it. But I am very, very more distended. This is, I'm sorry, I'm going to try to get it. <laughs> This is, that's supposed to be beneath the abdominal cavity. This doesn't belong on this side of the, of the abdominal cavity. Okay. Now then, you see that right there? You see that? That's from January 2008. That's an illegal surgery they did on me. Cut me this way. And that is an implant. And on the films, you can see the frequency that it's putting, putting off. That is the cancer in my body. This is very hard for me to show you because I tell you, throughout my life, and there's pictures on my Facebook page that you can see that I took very good care of my body, very athletic, 130, 35 pounds, 140 every now and then. Flat, very flat stomach. I had a great figure. <laughs> I had a great figure. And um, they destroyed this. They've been destroying me for a while. Because I'm showing you that implants illegal surgeries, what they're doing is true. And why we need to have legal, have attorneys drawing up documents, contracts with surgeons, and everything is going to be discussed. And especially, as well, post-operative pain management. And have everything video recorded. Everything. Even to the times of staying in the room, to anything that you have done. It's the only way that you're going to self-police and get this cleaned up. Just like they did with the police. And I tell you what, there's a lot of good people in law enforcement that they are they love having the camera because that gives them also a way out going from trying to be pressured by those who want special privileges, special rights. That they go, hey, listen, 
it's on the camera, it's my job, I can't do it. I mean, I should sit there and have a doctor wearing a body cam, and you have a body cam, and watch how that changes things, huh? Okay, well, uh, yeah, you know, I sit here and I wonder all the time, how much longer, Lord? Look at my hands. The tumor, can you see that? Can you see that? Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, that too. Go. Cool.